Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you to wherever you are watching, from wherever you are watching. It's your host, Crypto Glenn. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me, and I appreciate it. According to one analyst, Bitcoin is on track to hit $100,000. Some analysts believe that we're going to hit $150,000 towards its all-time high. Bitcoin yesterday, in addition to Ethereum, both hitting all-time highs, and it has the entire crypto market in an absolute frenzy. I got to admit, these are good times that we're experiencing now for all the times that we've spent in the bear markets. Um, it's just good to be here with you all, and I hope everybody is making significant gains. Bitcoin's recent breakout likely has legs, but investors should be cautious with how much cryptocurrency they own, says Edge Capital Manager Todd Gordon. I think this should be part of the class portfolio, but a small part. Every time they say you should only own a small part, what I would say is you should double it. And of course, this is a financial advice. You should always consult a financial expert with your investment decisions. But I always believe that these guys happen to be a little bit late to the party. And if you were taking his advice, you only had a little bit, you would only have marginal gains versus if you had a whole lot of bit. All the way going back to when Bitcoin first hit the initial pump, I call this a second pump that we're in now, you'd be up a couple X's. So right now, everybody that did the exact opposite of this and had pretty significant holdings in crypto, you know, people are really, really happy. Ultimately, uh, it's my opinion, it's other people's opinion, other analysts' opinion that Bitcoin will see a million dollars, but that's going to happen once the, uh, for lack of a better phrase, the older folks have already passed their wealth on to folks in the next generation or once they're finally advised that they should be moving a significant portion of their net worth into Bitcoin. Roughly 3% of Gordon's portfolio invested in various digital assets with Apple looking into technology. Speaking of Apple, Tim Cook just came out and made an announcement that he himself holds crypto, and I think it's pretty safe to assume that he may be holding Bitcoin as well. Tough Federal Chairman Reserve Jerome Powell helped spark the recent rally by saying he was not considering a crypto ban. Thank you, Jerome, for that, as well as information regarding the Fed beginning to taper starting you know make its rounds against national pundits the fed could also become one of bitcoin's biggest headwinds the founder of ceo gina suarez said in the same interview as the economy continues to reopen the numbers start to heat up at some point we will see the fed stepping back from its massive monetary support again the reason why the stock market is doing so well is because the fed are buying uh, corporate bonds are buying stocks and that's really propping the entire stock market up what else has people very excited in this current news cycle of Bitcoin is MasterCard has begun to look at how to implement payments uh, for its credit cards. They actually have went on to found a partnership with a company in the Asian Pacific. And I look at this as being a very ancillary product to the crypto space as a whole as people who will hold or test this credit card, will be able to figure out how to convert cryptocurrency to fiat to make their payments. So I think that's going to be a nice tool for every cryptocurrency investor to have. As I was just making mention to, MasterCard has actually forged a couple partnerships with the Amber Group and BitHub and CoinJar in order to allow customers and businesses across the Asia Pacific to obtain crypto, link MasterCard, credit, and debit prepaid cards, the company said in a statement on Monday. Cardholders can now instantly convert their cryptocurrencies into a traditional fiat currency that can be spent anywhere that MasterCard is accepted. That's huge. We saw that Visa was working with some stable coins here a few months ago, and it looks like this could be more of that. And it's awesome to see that this whole entire thing is finally starting to come full circle. Some 45% of those surveyed in the Asia Pacific said that they are likely to consider using cryptocurrency in the next year. I like to think that number is a lot higher. And 12% said that crypto in the last year, according to the MasterCard payments index said that they had used crypto so you know 45 percent and 12 percent that's not bad i like to think that maybe this 12 percent is a little bit higher mascar said in late october it was working with digital asset platform backed to allow merchants and banks in the u.s to build cryptocurrency into their offerings hmm. knowing what we know now let's actually go ahead and take a look at some additional news that's coming out of the crypto space there are a growing number of mayors in the United States, whether they have been recently elected or reelected, that made the announcement soon after their election 
had come to a finish that they would be taking some, if not all of their paycheck for the next year in Bitcoin. Uh, one of the individuals who is spearheading this, we all know is Amir out of Miami who said he'll be taking his uh, year salary in Bitcoin. Of course, the mayor in New York, Eric Adams, said that he wants to take his next three paychecks in Bitcoin. And there's also a mayor out of Tampa Bay who has gone on to say that she would like to uh, actually take his payments or her payments in Bitcoin as well. So this is good news all across the board. I think ultimately we're going to be seeing here is just finally this massive wave of adoption that we've been seeing. After all, the last time we had a bear market, it was the politicians that were kind of trying to foot the markets. And now it looks like that they are finally starting to come on board. So you've got Jane Castor, Francis Suarez, Eric Adams, and the mayor of Tampa Bay who have just come out and said that they actually want to start taking a look at receiving their next paycheck or all of their paycheck in Bitcoin. All right. So when we look at the actual crypto markets, we want to take a look and see possibly what could the market be getting ready to do. Uh, I've been paying very, very close attention to this. If you guys have been following me on Twitter, this is the Bitcoin chart. I want to take a look at something that we were taking a look here at uh, Ethereum. This was not too long ago, about seven months ago when the entire space in itself was very, very, uh, bearish on Ethereum. It was kind of at a little bit of a lull. It wasn't doing anything. And a lot of people were ready to write it off and move to other projects like Solana and Binance Smart Chain. And I was telling people, hey, calm down. The old guard has basically gave its blessing to Ethereum. We're going to be fine. And here we are knocking on the door to $5,000. Just following up, here's more of that tweet back on November 6th. Uh, Bitcoin had entered this descending channel. And I said, I'm expecting a price breakout sometime soon and it wasn't but maybe a handful of hours after that we broke out of that falling channel tested support and then began to make the run that we are currently on now so what does this mean for bitcoin i think that bitcoin uh could actually in fact be mirroring ethereum and that's why i see bitcoin here enter this ascending channel we broke to the downside just like i said that we would we consolidated found support here at around $60,247. And we started to build uh, what you can see here as this ascending triangle. Now, normally these do have a tendency to break to the upside. You see, we haven't exactly pierced this upper resistance here yet, but the more that we touch it and we don't break through, we will fall down. I know there's some people out there that believe the more you test it, you'll break through. I happen to think it's the former rather than latter. And what I am looking to see here is that we do not fall below this uh, diagonal support here i think if we can keep this and maybe in a day and a day and a half if this volume picks up and it is picking up uh back when i was doing the chart the volume was somewhere down here i think ultimately what we're going to see let me just get rid of this i think ultimately what we'll see here is this kind of getting into this zone where we're going to squeeze and possibly the next day day and a half and then we will start to run to the upside should this volume keep up so um if i take a look at This is going to be a very rough measure move. Do, do, do. It's a little high. Do, 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 do. Take this here. 1%. So that could potentially put us in the realm at around, I'd be comfortable saying around $70,000, 72000 uh, for a price target here. So if you're trading this, this would be a setup that I would definitely look to uh, pay attention to. Just make sure you don't get any strong reversals down here. And if you do get a reversal, maybe place a little bit of a stop loss and just below this um, support down here, because I would be surprised if we had a little bit of a fake out if we did break below this diagonal support before coming back up to this range and breaking to the upside. And essentially what that might look like is something like this you can have this it starts to go up and it breaks down and if it breaks down then oh it fakes out bounces bounces and then runs to the upside you could also potentially see us maybe not even fall below that support line keep bouncing keep bouncing into this tighter range and then ultimately you know start to take off or something like that so just something to be on the lookout for I don't want to make this too long of a video. I do just want to talk about you know Bitcoin looking very bullish right now and if it is looking bullish 
obviously you need to be thinking about taking a little bit of profit off the table. Just in case we do retrace, you can always have some additional money to push back in uh, to the market and increase your position in certain cryptos. If there's any coins you guys want me to look at, leave them in the comment section below. Something I'm exactly and, and so glad, not exactly, but very glad to see is the listing to Boobieth. Uh, NFT project that I'm very bullish on has finally been listed on NFT calendar. Hopefully this starts to spark more of a buzz going into the community. And I do know that that community is running out of space. So if you have not joined, remember, it's only open to the first 500 people that are going to get a free whitelist spot. And I know they only have a few more uh, spots left. So if you like NFTs, if you like making projects or if you would like to make your own project and have the devs give you the code to make your own project, crypto project or NFT work, Boob ETH is definitely uh, the NFT you need to be holding. I know it says here that it's going to mint around November 27th to November 30th. That date could be subject to change. It just depends on obviously, you know, what the uh, community looks like, what gas fees look like and things of that nature. So again, very bullish on this project. It is probably one of the best NFTs with the strongest use case that I've seen in terms of utility. So definitely check out their website, follow them on Twitter and let's see how many people they have on Twitter now. Yeah. So they're definitely growing. They now have 46 people here on Twitter uh, and definitely just stay up to date with them because I believe this is going to be the project that is going to pay people dividends in the future. It's not financial advice, but I see a lot of projects that don't offer half of what boob ETH is offering they're going to make donations to breast cancer awareness uh research organization firms and that's huge definitely if you want to get paired up with a meaningful nft you want to have an nft that's going to basically show you how to make projects so you can put money in your own po project in your, your own pocket excuse me this is definitely the project you should be looking at that's all i have for today we'll do another in-depth review of boobies at a later time uh until then i'll see you guys in the next one peace